4.43. Hi, everybody. We have gone ahead and issued a first alert for today. All day today, as we're expecting heavy rain, isolated severe storms are possibility. And there's even that possibility of an isolated tornado somewhere in the region. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in Connecticut, but somewhere in the region with all of this energy, there is that potential. Flood watch in effect. This is not good. We've had inches of rain over the past four days. Inches. We don't need any more rain, and unfortunately, it is coming. Here's uh, first alert live radar. You're going to notice there's not a lot of activity going on. You'll notice just to the west of Connecticut, though, we are starting to see some scattered showers. Let me widen out the shot. You've got a cluster of thunder storms in parts of northern New Jersey and southern New Jersey. So all of this action has to make its way through the state during the morning. And then there's an opportunity for more showers and thunderstorms this afternoon before everything starts to clear out. All right, so let's take a look at uh, first alert future cast. It's tomorrow's weather today. By 7 o'clock, we're starting to see the action in the state, maybe a little bit sooner than that. And you'll notice it just ripples through. This is 9 o'clock. This is not great. Of course, we're going to be on the air with Great Day at 9A, and Melissa Cole will be here in the uh, early in the First Alert Forecast Center tracking all of this for us. Unfortunately, it doesn't look great for 10 o'clock either. This is 11 o'clock. starts to make its way through parts of southeast Connecticut. Just, it's just loaded with moisture, lightning, and thunder. And again, that possibility of some rotation. This is 2 o'clock this afternoon. Still some showers and thunderstorms through 5 p.m. And then tonight, we finally start to clear things out, and it gets much better around here. Now, the severe threat, we're at level 1 during the day today, so just keep that in mind. Let's talk about Hurricane Lee. We're waiting for the 5 o'clock update. It is currently a Category 3 with 115 mile-an-hour winds. Here's what's going on. Follow the cone of uncertainty. Here's Connecticut. So this is Friday evening at 8 o'clock. It's still to the uh, south and east of Connecticut as a Cat 1. And then it scoots on by, okay? So it's not a direct hit by any means, but we are going to be dealing with some wind and even the possibility of some showers in parts of northeast and southeast Connecticut. So here are the headlines. Friday, Saturday, passes offshore. The center of the storm passes offshore, but... We're expecting an increase in cloudiness, gusty wind, rough seas, and again, maybe even some showers during the day on Saturday. Now, a further shift west means a greater impact. It's Wednesday. The storm is expected Friday, so it still has time to find, uh, find its way towards us. We're going to keep a very close eye on that for you. Here's Hartford, 67 degrees. We're talking about New Haven, 69 degrees. And we're talking about Middletown. Not too bad out there. There is a touch of fog. The temperatures are in the mid to upper 60s. Those dew points are cranking. Here's a look at today. We're talking about temperatures only in the low to mid 70s. Humid with storms. Tomorrow, a beautiful day. Friday, a beautiful day. And then Saturday, windy with the possibility of some showers. Sunday looks good, 77 degrees. Not bad. Not bad, but we got to get through. Got to get through today, I know. and then we got to get through Saturday. Okay. And then Sunday looks pretty good. Well, Saturdays, we're still watching. You yeah, were still watching. It's okay. going out to sea, but still, we could have some impacts here in the state. It can.